I think that the majority of workers are saying, look, we don't want, we don't want you to pull out the jobs. Like, we want to work. We like to work, you know. We want to make the, the shoes. We we're proud of what we do. But uh, we don't want to be exploited. Like, why can't you just let us meet our basic needs? Bowling, number 23 is in the house. Nike, a brand synonymous with greatness, athletic excellence, and cultural relevance. From the courts of basketball to the fields of soccer, Nike has become more than just a sports brand. It's a global movement. But behind the iconic swoosh, there's a complex and controversial story, one that spans decades filled with triumphs, failures, and a fight for justice. This is the story of Nike, from sweatshops to social justice. It all started in 1964, when Phil Knight and Bill Bowerman launched Nike with one goal to revolutionize sports footwear. Little did they know, their small company would soon dominate the global sportswear market, changing how the world viewed sports and fitness forever. Fix clothing and sporting goods. All this week, if it says Nike, it's on. By the 1980s, Nike wasn't just a brand, it was a lifestyle. The swoosh became a symbol of ambition, innovation, and athleticism. And with athletes like Michael Jordan leading the charge, Nike became the powerhouse we know today. For the first time in my life, in a formal way, I get online, I start doing searches about Nike and sweatshops and labor practices. And what I found was, if you wanted to pick a company that completely violates everything that Catholic social teaching is about, Nike would be your perfect case study. And at the same time, I'm doing this research. But while Nike soared to new heights in the sports world, beneath the surface, dark clouds were forming. In the 1990s, reports emerged about Nike's use of sweatshops in countries like Indonesia, Vietnam, and China. Workers were being paid pennies, forced to work long hours in unsafe conditions. Nike faced growing criticism over its treatment of workers in developing countries, with allegations of child labor and wage exploitation. These revelations sparked outrage, protests erupted around the world, and Nike's squeaky clean image was tarnished. The brand became the face of corporate greed and exploitation, a company that profited off the backs of vulnerable workers. The Nike product has become synonymous with slave wages, forced overtime, and arbitrary abuse. Trust me, we've heard the criticism, and we are taking steps to change. Nike's founder, Phil Knight, publicly acknowledged the company's shortcomings and the brand promised change. Over the next decade, Nike began an overhaul of its supply chain. It started working with nonprofit organizations and human rights groups to improve working conditions in its factories. Transparency reports were introduced, wages were raised, and safety standards were enforced. Nike also launched environmental initiatives, addressing its massive carbon footprint by reducing waste and using sustainable materials. While Nike cleaned up its act behind the scenes, it continued to dominate in the public eye. The Just Do It campaign became a global anthem for determination and perseverance, resonating with millions of athletes and everyday people alike. But in 2018, Nike made one of its most controversial moves yet, by standing behind NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick. Kaepernick, who had become a symbol of the fight against racial injustice after kneeling during the national anthem, was embraced by Nike in a bold campaign. The campaign sparked both praise and outrage. Some applauded Nike for standing on the right side of history, while others burned their Nike gear in protest. People just burning their, you know, any kind of Nike shoes on fire, cutting out the swoosh. So we want to know, right now, if you look at the bottom of our screen, we have this poll, wcnc.com slash vote. Will you be boycotting Nike? But one thing was clear. Nike wasn't just a sports brand anymore. It had become a voice in the cultural conversation around race, activism, and social justice. In taking a stand, Nike took a risk, but it paid off. Despite the backlash, Nike's sales skyrocketed. The brand had tapped into a younger, more socially conscious generation. Consumers weren't just buying shoes, they were buying into a set of values. Nike has always been about more than sports. They stand for something bigger, and that's why I wear them.
Through bold decisions, Nike solidified itself as not just a sportswear company, but a brand deeply rooted in culture, pushing for justice and equality. Today, Nike's legacy is complex. It's a company that was once mired in controversy, but has also been a catalyst for change. From its early days of sweatshop scandals to its position at the forefront of social justice, Nike has evolved into a brand that reflects the times, for better or for worse. Cause Doran Beckers, but like you have like an assortment. But what's next for Nike? Can they continue to lead in the fight for justice while keeping their global empire running? Only time will tell. One thing is for sure, Nike's story is far from over. If you found this story as fascinating as we did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss more deep dives into the world's biggest brands and their impact. Thanks for watching, and remember, just do it.